that's all this stuff. Transfers have been set up as requested. 15% of your contract payments will be paid out to you in the form of tea energy, since that has become the normal currency around the base. The rest of your earnings will be credited to the account on Earth you provided. Badapali out. Got a, yeah, then we got a fight here. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, we do. I remember what happens. Delta Station, looks like we've got another sudden Emperor-class storm heading in from Blind Sector North-Northeast. You've got two minutes to secure storm shutters and hightail it down to the hangar. Let's move. Here we go. Oh shit. Just a little bit more ice. Come on. Come on, let me in. Thank you. Damn it, missed it. There you go. Fuck you. Wait, where are we on this map? this area is one that we come back to. Hmm. Wait, what? I'm going the wrong way. That's right. What are we doing again? Oh, that's right, we're planting, uh... 
planting a tea energy gatherer thingy. Keep your eyes open for little sh uh, tea energy canisters frozen in the ice. There's some ice that you can break. Oh, yes. Come on, Jim. I just saw it. There we go. Yeah, that's right. This is totally going to end well. See, that right there looked like it used to be one of those spawners. There it is. Just saw the shadow. And the scary music started. Come on. Yep. There it is. What the fuck? I threw a grenade. What happened to it? He spit it back out. Really? He spit the grenade out. That wasn't fair. I actually hit him in the mouth with a grenade. He caught it and he spit it back out at me. Oh, that guy didn't spit it out. Come on. Come on, dodge. Now the big guy comes back, I think. Where is he? I'm out of umbilical range, so I have no idea where he's going. There he is. Got it, boss. I think this work is just my speed. Come on, can I climb up there? Oh no, okay. And so it went for weeks and months until the extraordinary became commonplace. Dealing with the cold and wild life became the new routine. Intense is real. I kept my sanity and wits by not thinking too deeply about what I was seeing and doing. He got lonesome sometimes, out in the Badlands. Uh, music and weekly messages from the missus kept me company. I was making great dough, 
making choice contracts. That was the point, after all. I made friends with the crew. They're a right good sort, those guys. Even LaRoche, for all his bluster, had his moments. For better or worse, I became Braddock's go-to guy. It had its benefits. But sometimes being the one to get the call meant you ended up in some damn strange situations. <laughs> on a side of juice. The one time I want an acre to attack. <coughs> what was that? Something about getting the call. Yeah, right. Well, now you know how hard it is to communicate off-world. In those days, never had a work around. An antenna relay on the highest road. peak in the area, so we can call home to Mama with minimal storm interference. It's our lifeline. Two hours ago, we went offline, and we don't know why. We're effectively cut off from sending and receiving any off-world communications. Uh, some acrid probably got his claws into it. So once again, you expect me to march out there and fight a horde of monsters in a rig without weapons, huh? Do you know how much of my income I waste on repairs? I want guns on my rig, a simple chain gun. My hands are tied. Nevik regulations. Yes, yes, don't weaponize the construction vehicles, but I mean in this but case... nothing. I'm not gonna jeopardize my operation because of your nerve deficit. It's called hazard pay for a reason. Oh, please. Hey, boss. Just nurse Comsat's offline. Yeah. Mind if I hustle down the relay station? Give her a gander? I was just talking to Mr. LaRoche about that very thing. Apparently he's got some concerns about making nice with the wildlife. Well, no, I don't want to just snake a man's contract. No, no, no. Take it. Get yourself killed. Not for at least double, I mean. Done. What? <laughs> Be back by supper time. <laughs> All right. This is Dr. Kovach. Can you read me? Loud and clear, Doc. Kinda told you, you can call me Jim. As you like, Mr. Jim. I was hoping you could pay me a visit in my lab, as your circumstances and logistics allow. Oh, and I believe I'm to mention that remuneration is involved. So you have a job for me? I believe I made that abundantly clear. Oh, abundantly. I'll drop by soon, Doc. Got a new text log. Still well to the osmosis plan. Still uh, well. Check out visit the quartermaster from there to Kovach. Now you see this is one of the things with this game. Go back and that T post that we emptied earlier, it's full again. So we have to go back, fight the same enemies and everything all over again to get more T energy. I'm probably going to do it because every time I uh, empty a T-post, it's just 2,000 free T-energy. But the fact remains that it is basically retraversing terrain you've already traversed and doing exactly the same thing you already did. Hey Birdie, how's it going man? You looking for something specific? Well, we got the assault rifle because we found it, so good thing we didn't have to buy that. And a large caliber barrel at 1250. We're gonna buy and go for that. Nice! She'll pack a bigger punch now, though the trade off's a touch more recoil. It's well worth it, in my humble opinion. And we can't get specialized ammo yet. Let's take the extended mag. Good. That upgrade's a must in my book. The less you gotta reload, the better, eh? And an extra ammo pack. Thanks, Jim. You keep fighting the good fight. And you only have the shotgun and assault rifle at this point. Did I replenish? Yeah. If you get back to the rig or access any of those things, your ammo automatically replenishes. See, I have two specialized components. I want to see what Gale has available here. 
sweet. Let's do this thing. Uh, T, T, N, T energy absorbers five. Damn. See, we've got a. I don't know why this is even an upgrade, but it's free. Just a pressurized claw upgrade is free. On it. You were gonna dig that one. So is the tungsten carbide drill. Oh, you won't be disappointed. I've got two. I'm thinking more hull armor would be an armor order. This one's simple. We take some raw metal, we reinforce the hull. Always a pleasure, my man. Well, let's get uh, let's get that next mission underway. Let's go check up that contract that LaRoche didn't want to do. And after a certain point, uh, you do unlock fast travel from here as well, so we won't be marching out like this. Hey, Jimmy. The science team cooked up a de-icing spray so your rig doesn't freeze with every bad storm. Commencing anti-icing procedures. The spray ensures your rig won't freeze in place the second you step outside, but its protection is limited to storms rated below Cardinal class. Copy? Anything beyond that? No guarantees. Good enough. Hey baby, quick message, and um, not to worry you, but apparently I am slipping quietly out of my mind. Today I spent the better part of 20 minutes looking for a hat that I was wearing. <laughs> this week I found my keys in the door on the outside, of course, my slippers in the shower, and my toothbrush in the refrigerator. Because you know how important dental hygiene is to produce. Seriously, what is happening? Unless the little man is telekinetic and evil, moving objects around with his mind just in order to drive me crazy, then your wife has become mentally unbalanced. So, that's good news, right? <laughs> yeah. I got things totally under control. <laughs> I don't know. Kisses. Hey, baby. Quick message, and, um, not to worry you, but apparently... I am slipping quietly out of my mind. Today, I spent the... Crazy Neil in there? Yeah, it looks like he is. Moon is looking great today, ain't she, Jim? Even the crack of dawn ain't safe from you, Crazy Neil. <laughs> now you're getting it. That wasn't much. Alright, let's go do this thing. Bailey's crossing. Oh, are we going to start with this shit again? Oh, I don't have the retractable wing yet. Uh, Jim, one more thing. 
there's a pump jack near the fueling depot that's frozen clean over. It's on your way to Shackleton's Peak, roughly. You should make good time getting there. Stop by and clear it off if you're rich. In fact, you can consider that a standing contract. Anytime you see a frozen pump jack, just clear it off and invoice me later. But first, I gotta clear out these jokers. Try to stay in the rig. I could do this later where I have a retractable winch. I could just throw it at them and take them out, but this early stage, I have nothing except the rig armor to, to uh, protect it. You notice they're all like keeping their distance all of a sudden. Come on, get over here. Don't run, don't you run. You're ru it's running from me. Okay. I think I have to swing the claw arm at it. Quickly tapping the F key on the using bot. And the broken. Shock. And now we need to repair it. Oh shit. You know what, you guys? Oh, come on. You can piss off. Anybody else? upgraded the rig armor and it didn't help. And is he glitched in there? these things. Yeah, they always wind up beating the rig. Yeah. Oh, come on! There's a lot of them. I 
I think I can make it through without battling them, though. They all, they all missed me and went the other way. Yeah. Hey, beautiful. Just sitting out another storm here. You know, about nowhere while I was working the South Valley. Barely got to my rigging time. I don't want to overstate the obvious here, but it is brightly cold out here. <laughs> Not just winter in Michigan cold. I took a deep breath this morning and the hair in my nostrils froze in place. No joke. Yeah, at least the air is clean, I'll give it that. I'd love to say I'm getting used to it, that the cold is growing on me. But it ain't. Since I came here on that ship, I haven't stopped thinking about you, Grace. Not for one minute. The bravery to let me go, raise our boy for a year or two, or who knows? You are a very special lady. I could stay as strong as you, and I might just make it through this. I mean, it is rightly cold out here. Love you, babe.